Well, the fallout from Liam Neeson's comments continues, and uh, now I've been watching Good Morning uh, Britain, or whatever, you know, Piers Morgan, various people on the show. He's had different black celebrities that are quite prominent in Britain. He's had Andy Peters, he's had Richard Blackwood. I'm still waiting for Lenny Henry. We can't have Felix Dexter now, he's dead. There's only a handful of black celebrities that have really been prominent in British culture. And you're going through all of them because they're black, not because they're prominent celebrities, not because they're you know, DJs or had good careers, you're going through them because they're black to gauge what they think about comments about black people. And it's quite reasonable to do that. What is unreasonable is how we've been conditioned over time to not notice colour. We've been conditioned to just ignore colour. You know, get all these people, oh, I didn't even notice you were black, I didn't even notice you were Asian. Pull the other one. Of course you did. You're just doing this fake tolerance thing where you pretend that it's not a factor when that's the last thing they want you to do. They want you to acknowledge their race. And that is not what Wikipedia does on Andy Peters' page. I looked up Andy Peters on Wikipedia, it says everything about the star, the DJ, the presenter, apart from the fact that he's black. And that's the one reason that they've chosen for him to be on this interview. It's this whole thing about hiding everything. We're not supposed to say these words. Andy Peters even said you're not supposed to say those words in this day and age, you just don't say that. Right, so is censorship acceptable, is it? No, it isn't. What are we supposed to do? Just pretend the colour doesn't exist? And let everyone say, oh, white people are trash, white people are racist. Let all the media, the New York Times, everyone dismiss white people, say that they're all scum, they're all racist, they're all pasty idiots, they haven't got a clue. But when there's a group of people and one of them happens to be black and one of them to be Asian, the Asians and the blacks have to be portrayed as immaculate, don't they? Every time they star in a movie, or a woman is the doctor, you know the female doctor in Doctor Who? She has to be portrayed as a virtuous person. She can't be eccentric or strange like, like he was when he was a man, because you're allowed to insult men. But whenever women have representation, whenever gay people have representation, whenever black people have representation, they have to be portrayed immaculately. That's not fairness. We're not even able to have a conversation, a grown-up conversation, about the nature of black and black crime. You know, in London with the stabbings and the knifings and the gangs, etc., and all the rap that they listen to. And the actual violence and the actual way they're motivated to do more violence. And statistically, around the world, disproportionately, black people underperform with other races, whether it's white people, whether it's Chinese people or whatever, but that's racist to say as well because statistics are racist, don't you know? I mean, I found out that when Tommy was kicked off uh, Twitter for citing a statistic about Islam. How dare you cite statistics? That's just something we don't do in 2019. I didn't think I would hear this language in 2019, okay? I don't believe that people are citing statistics. That is just offensive. That is almost like what Andy Peters said when he said, you can't say these words. No one can say these words. No one can acknowledge race in a way that, you know, we've been conditioned over time, like I say, to forget about it, to disregard black or Asian colour skin and just pay attention to white so that, that they filter out. And, and this kind of colour blindness is not what they want. Like I said, this is not what people want. They want to be acknowledged for what they are. And if they can play a card and get brownie points. <laughs> brownie points, I didn't mean to do that, that was a pun, I'm sorry. But if they can get bonus points, then they've pulled off a gambit by doing that. Because they can play the race card, and that's easy. And many people like to play what cards they're given. Because we get things taken away from us so quickly in life. Everyone's so quick to take everything away from us, they're never keen to give us something quickly. So when we get something, when we get the opportunity to do something, and it helps us, like play the race card, play the gay card, play this card, we'll do it. And we'll be encouraged by our peer group to do it.